All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are going to be looking at yet another fun mod, this time in the form of EVA Follower. Now this is a mod that I have been wanting for a while and apparently there was a somewhat short-lived mod that did this about a year ago, but it uh, sort of fell by the wayside and this is kind of the rebirth of it under a new user by the name of MSD, and the EVA follower mod allows you to, well, have other Kerbals follow you while you're on EVA. Now, if we actually go to our tracking station here and go to the, oh, uh, let's just jump right into Jebediah here, as you'll notice I have a lot of Kerbals ready and raring to go, and they are over at the island runway, so I thought this might be a fun place to test it out. So. I've gotten together a nice little bit of Kerbals, one command pod's worth, and two hitchhiker crew habitat modules. So, uh, yeah. Basically, normally, when you are wandering around, you are wandering by yourself. And a big problem I've always had is, say, you have a Mooner colony or something along those lines, and you want to move multitudes of Kerbals between your colony and perhaps the rover that's going to go out to collect science. You used to have to do it one by one, and it was kind of a pain. But now, if I right-click on Hengen Kerman, I can click Follow Me, and now, oop, let's click off of him there so we don't have that little menu, he follows me. And there we go, we have a follower, and if we grab another guy here, let's get Billy Bobzer Kerman, add him to the group, and he will join in on our little escapades running around now. <laughs> As you can see, their pathing is a little bit screwy. They're kind of right up against one another. And if you have more than two or three, it gets a little slapstick comedy, honestly. They bump into one another. I haven't seen them fall down from it yet, but it is a little bit amusing. Let's actually just go ahead and grab a third guy and see what happens. There we go. We'll get Curlurf. Is that... Wow, that's a weird name. Okay, we'll grab him to the party as well, and there we go. They're all trying to grab basically the same spot. And, well, they kind of jumble together. Now, as you do kind of go forward, they will sort of find a groove into a single file line. As you can see there, they're starting to sort of make that. And bam, there they go. But if we switch around, yeah, they all just kind of bunch up, and it's it's kind of amusing, but I love it. Now, normally, this would make me happy, just having multiple Kerbals following you because it would make life so much easier for moving Kerbals between different rovers and moon bases and things of that variety, but this mod takes it a little bit further, and we can actually put our Kerbals on patrol and by giving them waypoints. And if I set a waypoint here with Jebediah, and if we just sort of run forward a bit, and put another waypoint here, and then say a little triangle, go up here a little bit, and one last waypoint, there we go. And now, if we then right click on him, you have this patrol option, which after you set the f uh, second waypoint, you should have that patrol option, and you just hit that, and he will start walking that triangle. I am not touching any of the movement keys right now, and as a matter of fact, let's go to another Kerbal to prove it, because they keep patrolling even when you no longer are actually in full control of them. So there we go, I'm actually, oh my, I'm, on, I'm with, uh, ooh, who is this? Bill! There we go, and you can see Jebediah leading his little pack of fans behind him in that triangle pattern that we set him to earlier. Now, if with Bill, we grab, here, you follow me, Patzer, and uh, I'll fall, you can follow me too. Run over here, and add him a waypoint in. So let's do a waypoint there. Go a little bit further out, and add another waypoint. So yeah, after the second waypoint, we should have that patrol button now. There we are. And now they could patrol walking, but it's, you know, slow. We can also right-click and have him run that path, and he will, well, of course, run it. Now he's going to continuously have to sort of go in between these Kerbals that he's set up behind him following, 
But uh, yeah, they will continue to follow him as he goes, whether running with Bill or walking leisurely with a Jebediah over there. And if we head to, oh, that's the command pod. Oh boy, oh boy, hold on, hold on, gotta figure out who's who. It's always the problem with switching around on things. Oh, that's gotten to him. No, no, one moment. Oh boy, <laughs> there we go. We are now controlling Bob. Ah, uh, you gotta love controls in this game sometimes. Now, there are a few limitations of this follow mod at the moment. They will only walk around following you. Uh, you cannot have them follow you while in space. So if you go on EVA with a jetpack, that will not work. You have to actually be landed on the ground, but that is a planned feature. So eventually, you'll be able to put Kerbals potentially on patrol around your space station. And beyond that, also, they cannot climb ladders, so you could potentially, since you are controlling Bob at the moment, climb up to the top of the capsule. They will not be able to follow you up that ladder, but that isn't uh, much of an issue, but still it is a limitation and also a planned feature. This is something they are wanting to add into this mod in the future so that you can't have them going up and down ladders, follow you with their jetpacks, etc., etc. And it's just, you know, it's, it's fun even without those elements, but once it does have those eventual plant elements, it'll be just all that much better. Now, if we set up a few waypoints here, I'm going to show one last sort of limitation of the mod at the moment, but it is something that they are, again, hoping to plan for the future. Now, right now, we have three little sets of Kerbals wandering around, and if we go back to the Space Center, one moment, and then back to the tracking station, and back to our EVA test, which is the capsule out there, you'll see that they are no longer following those paths. Another one of the limitations is when you're going back and forth, either reloading a game or coming back to a previously used ship, even if you haven't left the game, uh, they will break their paths and no longer have them. And uh, there we go. You will have to set up waypoints all over again. Not only that, but you will have to set up following all over again. So let's have Bob actually follow this guy now. I don't even know who I'm inside right now, but hey, it works. And yeah, it's it's just, it's really fun. I really like this. The ability to actually have Kerbals follow you, give them paths so that they can run around. I mean, imagine the uses for this for potential machinima makers. You could have them running around and have add actual life into your scenes for the Kerbal Space Center. Have a load of Kerbals just sort of wandering around, running between buildings. All is possible with this mod. And eventually, like I said, they are hoping to add in ladder support, jetpack support, and even the ability for it to save patrol routes and all of that in between your game saves. Now, I'm actually going to try and find, because I just thought of this. Uh, let's find... No. 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 One moment. <laughs> Oh, no, he is following the... Okay, here's... Uh, is that Jebediah? Yes, it is Jebediah. So it doesn't follow the path... Or it doesn't save the pass. And I was wondering, because I hadn't tried this yet. It also doesn't save the follows. So this little pack of Jebediah fans here, unfortunately, is no longer following him now. So that, that is a major limitation. Uh, if you are, say, a machinima maker, you will have to reset your followings and your paths and all of that anytime you exit the area you're currently in. So, if, like, like we did, going back to the Kerbal Space Center and back here, it, it loses all that, but hopefully, like I said, that will be fixed eventually. Uh, but yeah, it's just a really, really fun mod and useful. As I said, I've had multiple times where I wish I had something like this so I could just take a whole pack of Kerbals with me to a rover that I was about to send out to do some science on the moon. It, it's, it just makes life easier. And of course, if you are a machinima maker, imagine the possibilities of having Kerbals following paths in the background, adding life to your world, or just a big pack of various Kerbals following you around wherever you go 
It's fun, it's amusing, and I hope you guys go and check out this mod for yourself. If you would like to, you can just follow the link in the description as always. And I really do hope you check it out. It's, it's quite fun, quite entertaining, and I cannot wait to see how it progresses in the future, uh, especially once jetpacks, ladders, and the saving of roots gets added. Oh, and one thing to add, it does also work in career mode. I, I, I don't know why it wouldn't, but it is made clear on the fact for this mod that it is functional in career mode. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys try this out, and I hope you also do, or have rather, enjoyed this episode, and that you come back for the next, when we will look at another fun and entertaining KSP mod. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends, and as always, have a good one. Oh, Jebediah fell over. Okay, he's good, folks, he's good.